I noticed the, the chant you, you chanted this, uh, in the beginning of, uh, of this event uh, was different from the other ones. Can you explain it uh, to us and if there's any meaning to it or what changes are? See, we must understand there is something called as a mantra, okay? Mantra means we say it's a pure sound. Why is one sound pure, another is not? Not like that. That is, mantra is significant for the sound of it, not for the meaning of it. Meaning exists only in your psychological space. There is no meaning anywhere in the universe except in the human mind. But there is sound, because sound is a reverberation. And today modern science is talking about how there is no matter, everything is reverberation. There's just energy reverberating. So sound is an existential reality. Meaning is a psychological thing. Most of the... Uh, I mean, he's the expert, I'm... I have not read those things, I have not studied anything. But essentially, the essence of what is offered in the Eastern structure of learning is largely the impact of sound. How? Because creation is seen as a complex amalgamation of sounds and certain sounds are key sounds. And when I say a key, suppose you're locked in this room and I give you a key, key to freedom. But you saw this, you have no concept of key in your mind. You put it in your ears and turned it, you did this, you try to stick it in the wall, this, that, it doesn't work. Only if you put it into that particular hole and turn it in a particular way, it opens up a world for you. So a mantra is significant for its sound. Meaning is a psychological and social thing. Meaning is meaningless, really. But sound exists. So the science of using the sound, to create certain atmosphere within yourself and around you is what it is about. Meaning is just made up by us <laughs>